What is up guys? We are back with you and we finished up this unit and we've got some tenants moving in too. We got a lot to do before they move in and we're gonna show you everything we do to make sure for a smooth tenant move in process. Cause we're not gonna be here when they move in. Let's get to it. So we have a lot of blinds to hang and we usually don't do this the day before tenants move in, but we forgot so here we are. I'm actually gonna check to make sure all the appliances actually work. This is a good PSA that if you buy new appliances for your place, you don't want when the tenants to be using it the first time that it's ever running. So that's what we're gonna do. So for like the stove, I'm just gonna preheat it. For the dishwasher, I'm just gonna turn it on. Good sign. So the dishwasher actually just started flashing H2O which we think means it's not getting water. I think I just have to turn the valve on under the sink. Yep, that was the problem, this water line. There we go. While that warms up and that runs, we're also going to do <laughs> a load of laundry. We're not really multitasking, we just wanna make sure that the dryer and the washer work. <laughs> Come on, buddy. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Shouldn't there be water in there though? Uh, yeah. Uh, check those valves, like they're back in that corner. Should I just turn, do you wanna stop it? Yeah, hold up. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, no, they were definitely closed. Oh no, 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 this one's leaking, this one's leaking, this one's leaking. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's leaking. I'm coming. So, I don't know. Do you want to look at it? Wrench action. Can I fit back here? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, yeah, this one's not even tight. Okay. Good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, it's working now. Thank God we're checking these because that would have sucked. They go to do their laundry and stuff spraying everywhere. Do you, you have the range on them? Did you check the dishwasher yet? I did, yeah. The okay. water wasn't on, so I had to turn it on. The, what, like the, the, the valve, valve wasn't on? The oh. sink, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. All right, so there's two things. Yeah. I mean, if you just think about it, like these are all of the calls we would have gotten as soon as the tenants were moving in. Yeah. And it's just glad that we're figuring them out now. Lauren already checked the heat. I want to check the air conditioning and make sure that it's working. Cause you have a smart thermostat right there. Yeah. Let's just turn it down. Okay, it just kicked on. Oh yeah. Yeah? Nice. And then we got Jake out there. If you guys have been following along with our front porch uh, debacle, we're making progress people, that's a hole. Oh Kai, he has a hole digger thing. Got a post hole there? Yeah. All right, good. I'm gonna borrow that. Hi, Jake. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm like, where the hell? Speaking of HVAC, though, what we are also gonna do is we're gonna change the filter that are in the truck still. Bodie is so jealous that we won't let him in here. This is gonna be a new puppy's house, not your pu not your house. Hi, buddy. Not allowed in, bro. Oh, I don't think we showed you this. We actually um, painted the walls and the floor of the basement. This way just doesn't look like a scary basement, a little fresher. The floor has got a little bit of water resistant property to it. Makes it look like not a crazy scary basement. So even if it's only been like a month or whatever since the filter was changed, we did do a lot of renovations. So you always wanna do a fresh filter and make sure you're putting it in the right way. It should say airflow this way. Yeah, look how dirty this one is. That's disgusting. 
See, but doesn't air flow that? Oh no, because it's the return. Okay, so yes, it does go this way. Beautiful. Now, you do want to change your filters every three months. And instead of us coming into the house and changing it, we just leave enough filters for the year downstairs in all of our houses and we ask the tenants to change it every couple months. I do usually send out a text to remind them and show them how to do it. This is gonna increase the longevity of your HVAC system and it's also gonna help with the bill that they pay each month. Lauren's been struggling with this one for a while. I'm just not understanding like one, why are you putting stickers on appliances? And two, like, what is this? It was this huge sticker going across the bottom. <laughs> Don't remove until finished. And it is like, we've tried vegetable oil, gone, <laughs> razors. We need chemicals. We're gonna do like um, a hair dryer, I think. I don't know. One eternity later. God, we are idiots. There's a Oh freaking... my God, wait, there's a film? Why? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm an idiot. We're wow. <laughs> wow. How much time do you think that was? I mean, honestly, I've been here for like at least 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, well, that makes me happy though, because oh that God. didn't look too promising. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, the oven preheated. Cancel that. Dishwasher ran, that's great. And it's also good to run your oven because we didn't know this, but new ovens smell pretty bad. It like kind of smells like a gassy, plasticky smell. And it's nothing bad. There's no plastic in the stove. There's no gas leaking. It's just kind of like the smell of a new stove. So if you can do that once prior to the tenants doing it, that could prevent a call as well. The other thing we like to do before a tenant moves in is mark out where the water main and the main gas shut off is. So let's go do that. This is really just in case there's an emergency. Uh, if they call me and are like, yo, we have water leaking everywhere, I can say, run down in the basement, it's marked with a blue tag, just turn it off. So we'll start with the water with a nice blue tag. Now we'll do the gas. Now there really should be no reason why they ever have to turn the gas off, ever. I guess better safe than sorry. The water is the one I really like them to know where they're at. So if you have like a multifamily unit, for example, our triplex, when you go into the basement, there's water lines everywhere, there's valves everywhere. We labeled those to make sure we knew which ones went to what unit. So that if they second floor tenant had to go down, they didn't have to shut the main off, they could just shut the water off to their entire unit. Kyle's dad killed it. We got blinds. We got blinds, 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 blinds. There are 26 windows in this house and Kyle's dad just banged out all the blinds. He's the best. People always ask where we get our blinds from because I always forget about them. We end up just getting them from Home Depot. They are the Hampton Bay one inch vinyl blinds. We really like these because they don't have the drawstring, you just like pull them up and down. And they are custom cut in store. We hate it when blinds don't fit windows correctly, so we do splurge the extra couple bucks per blind to be able to get it custom cut. And we love these because you just pull and push instead of having that like drawstring that gets stuck. So we really like them, they're a little bit more expensive. I think next time when I actually remember that we need blinds, I'm gonna try to order them from somewhere and try to save a little bit of money, but of course I had a coupon. And because we bought so many, we got a bulk discount. So, here's that. You know what these like whole cement tubes look like? What? They kind of look like the Pillsbury Doughboy, the Pillsbury Doughboy biscuit cans. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> like I feel like if I press my thumbs up against them, out will pop a fluffy dough ready to be cooked. So we're putting up a Bluetooth doorbell. Um, we haven't really ever ran wire for doorbells and we usually like tear everything out and then don't think about it until way later. But this is super loud. 
That's it. And then we leave them a couple extra batteries in their welcome basket, just in case it dies, but we haven't had them die yet. Careful, don't uh, fall <laughs> down. All right, I gotta put this on first. Kyle's just caulking a few little spots and we're in the home stretch. So now I'm just going to do a little bit of touch-up painting. Then we clean, take some photos, and that's it. And last but not least, Kyle's installing a mailbox. <laughs> When they started demoing the deck, we took the mailbox out, and then we realized that the tenants didn't have a mailbox. So Kyle's temporarily putting one in over there until the deck is the complete. Is take a look around, see if there's any glaring spots I missed. But I think it looks good. I think it looks good too. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Now we clean. Again. Again, we had a cleaner come and clean the whole house. Yesterday. Yesterday, but we forgot that we had to do the blinds and all of this little last minute stuff and we're gonna clean again. Can we take a second and just look at your arm? It's... <laughs> well, Wait, I... turn, turn, do, a, do a 180, because I don't know how, stay there. How did you get one there? I don't know. <laughs> well, as I'm touch up painting, I, you know, you mark the spots, you take them off. And... There and then they go on your right arm. Exactly. <laughs> what are you doing? Backing up these vents is very dirty. The last garbage bag to leave this place. Cheers to many new memories. And then Dash, Lauren, Kyle, and Bodie. Now we know welcome, tenant welcome baskets are always very controversial. We like to give them. Uh, we just feel it starts the relationship off on the right foot. And that's what we do. So I used to do stuff a little bit more extravagant. Now we're just doing toilet paper rolls, furniture pads to protect our floors. Uh, this couple has a dog, so we're doing a little bit of tree action and a rib bone. And then we are going to walk into town and go get a gift card to a local pizzeria. So maybe they can have snacks on us their first night. That's it for us tonight, but there are still two more things we do before a tenant moves in. And we'll wrap up the list tomorrow morning. What is up everyone? We are back with you. We got all that stuff done yesterday and we were exhausted. But we got two big things we still gotta do before the tenants move in, so let's go do them. So before the tenants move in, you want to take pictures of everything. Now because this is a new home, there's not a lot of gashes or holes in the walls or anything wrong, but basically you wanna take photos of the current condition of the property so that when you fill out the move in inspection checklist, you know exactly what you need. And then I'll actually send these photos to the tenants and make them, you know, just reply an email just saying like, yep, we got them, we looked at them. This way you have documentation of what the unit looked like before the tenants moved in, in photos and in writing. So I try to do wide shots of each room and then I'll do little details. So for example, if there's like a ding in the floor or, or in the countertop, I'll make sure I take a close up of that as well. And the last thing that we have to do is hope that this thing fits on the doorknob. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, dude, this thing doesn't fit on here. So, plan B. I could put it on here. That works. Now. Woo! We're done, officially. So now basically I'm going to send the final email to the tenants, letting them the code to the lockbox, setting them the photos and the property moving condition report. And then that's it. We're actually going to head it. down the shore. We're not going to be here when they move in. We're going to give them their own space. 
It just feels so good that in here is done. This is crazy. It is crazy. It's kind of surreal. I know. And until the porch and deck are done, I'm still not completely like done with this project. If you guys want to see a full property walkthrough of this unit, empty house tour, join us next week. So you guys know the drill. Like, subscribe, do all those things, and we'll see you guys on next one. Peace.